Hi everyone. My name is Miss Katie and I am one of the youth services librarians at the Middleton Public Library. Now we know that with the library closed, it might be difficult to access all of the great materials we have. So I want to tell you today about just a couple of ways that we can help you still get your hands on materials. First is our librarian's choice request and I'm going to share my screen so that you can see where to find that on our website. All right, right here in this box on our website is the librarian's choice request form. So this is a really great way for you to get your hands on materials that we have in the library. So one of the things that's happening with holds is they have to be quarantined before we can actually put them on the shelf for you to pick up. So if you fill out one of these librarian's choice requests, a librarian will personally choose items for you based on whatever you wanna tell us you're looking for. You can tell us an age level, you can tell us a format, you can tell us a genre or many genres that you like, you can tell us your favorite book, your favorite authors, and we will find you something that is interesting to you, or at least we hope we will. Um, this could be used for school resources, or this could be used for fun reading, or both. Um, so just let us know, fill out this form, and a librarian will personally choose a number of books for you based on how many you ask for. Another resource I want to tell you about is a fantastic database that is available to you for free from the Middleton Public Library, and that is called teachingbooks.net. Now, this database is full of links and information about books and about authors. So it has full length book readings, it has author interviews and book lists and book trailers, which is one of my favorite parts of that website. So to get to that, you head on to the resources tab, click online databases and scroll on down until you find teachingbooks.net. To get into teachingbooks.net, all you have to do is verify that you are a Wisconsin resident, confirm, and then you have access to all of the materials on teachingbooks.net. So today my focus is going to be on sharing information for the students. Um, parents and educators, if you want a tutorial based on that side of this platform, just let us know. You can comment here on the video, you can send us an email, um, just let us know if you want more help with that side of this database. But for students today, that is my focus. Now, the first time you use this database, it can seem a little bit overwhelming because when you find something that you like, it brings everything that they have compiled about that author, about that book, all in one place. So let me show an example. If you are looking for fun, students, let's go have some fun and you're looking for a complete book reading. I'm just gonna start right at the top of this page. And instead of putting in a title, we're gonna browse. And let's just click on last stop on Market Street. So you want a complete book reading and there are four different places that you can get that. But when you scroll up, there are all kinds of other information, all sorts of other links. There are a ton of author interviews with this author. So really, if you look at this page, it has compiled all of the information, not only about Last Stop on Market Street for you, but also about the author and probably the illustrator as well. So it can seem a little bit overwhelming if you really just wanted a place to read this book because we don't have it available right now. Take the time to go through this page and kind of see everything that it shows you these book trailers, it talks about awards and distinctions there. So you can also, let's go back, you can also search for a book. So we're going to do that here in this complete book readings because that's the top one so it makes it easy. And I'm going to look for the book Hair Love. When I looked at this book today online, I was thinking about using it for something. So I looked it up in LinkCat and I saw that there were 17 people currently actively waiting for this book and every single copy is checked out. So I really wanted to figure out how could I read this book without physically having it. Teachingbook teachingbooks.net is your solution. There are two different complete readings of this book that are available for you right here from teachingbooks.net. 
And then there's also a book trailer that sort of introduces the book to you. It talks about the authors, does author interviews, which I listened to one of them and it's really interesting. Um, it'll tell you why they wrote this book, why they thought it was important. Um, and it's just a good way to compile all of the information about this book. If you're looking for a book reading, you can probably find that somewhere else on the internet, but this is a really a place where they have put everything together for you so you don't miss anything. Let's look at another section of this site. So video, ooh, I'm gonna stick with for fun. Sorry, I went back too many times. Video book trailers. Again, I'm just gonna browse. So let's look at some that are available for children. What's fun about a book trailer is it's a, an introduction and it's usually a really fun introduction to um, the book. A lot of times they will bring characters kind of to life. Let me, let's, we'll narrow this down. You can um, sort by grade level in this, which is nice. So if I'm gonna stick with just the kindergarten, first grade through fifth grade. Now, if I click on the Undefeated by Kwame Alexander. There is a book trailer from the publisher. I tried earlier to let you see the book trailer with me and you can't, but I recommend you check out teachingbooks.net and watch this book trailer. It's a really fun one. So I will click on it. I just won't hit play, but you can see there on your screen now via screen sharing what this might look like to you when you want to watch a book trailer. All right, let's go back a couple times to get back to the for fun section. There for you. All right, let's go back to the for students, I'm sorry. For students, another thing that we are really working on right now is diverse books. So what's good about the diverse books on teachingbooks.net is you can tell it that you are looking for books on all sorts of different diversity categories um, and they will sort them out for you. I have to hit continue over here. So again, you can filter by grade level over here or you can just browse through. And again, it's gonna compile all of the resources about those books right in the, um, the page for that item, if you click on it. So you can see here, Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. This one is, um, you can see all of the, inter the information about that book right there on that page, including book readings, author interviews. There's 35 different author interviews. This was when it can start to kind of look a little bit overwhelming. Um, it tells you where each of them are from. Library of Congress, Penguin Middle School, um, Watch, Connect, Read. And again, teaching books is just a place that compiles all of the information, as much information as it can about each individual item. All right, let's go back to our four students section. And I wanna show you one more thing on this site before we end for today. And that is finding books you like. So sometimes you know you loved a book. I just read the book Spy School and I really liked it. So I want more books like Spy School. Come on over here, identify books that are similar to a favorite title. We are going to find Spy School click on it and it gives you options. So you can look for other books by that author. You can look for other books that have the same classification. So I want more spy stories. Click on it. Again, you can limit by grade level if you would like to. And it gives you all of these books that are about spies. So that's a really fun way to use teachingbooks.net. All right, friends, that is a very short introduction to all of the things that teachingbooks.net can do. Um, but we really just wanted you to get an introduction to that database and to know that, it is, that it's there, it's there for you to use. And again, it's a really great resource that compiles information. So if you have a book report about an author, that is an ideal website to go to. 
So thank you for watching. Keep coming back. We are going to do tutorials on databases that are good for students and teachers throughout this week. So keep coming back, take a look at those resources, and please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching, friends, and we hope to see you soon.